Scurvy is a disease that has affected mankind for centuries, being noticed and recorded by civilizations dating as far back as ancient Greece and ancient Egypt. Scurvy is the result of a vitamin C deficiency and its symptoms include weakness, feeling tired, and having sore legs and arms. If scurvy goes untreated, gum disease, a diminished number of red blood cells, and bleeding from the skin can occur. If left untreated for too long, such symptoms as wounds not properly healing, changes in personality, and ultimately death can occur. Scurvy was a major problem for the British fleets in the 18th century, leading to more deaths than attacks from French and Spanish fleets. In the instance of George Anson's attempt to circumnavigate the globe, 1,400 of his 1,900 men died, mostly due to scurvy. It had been known for centuries that citrus fruit was able to prevent and cure scurvy, but it wasn't widely accepted in the medical community yet. In 1747, James Lind conducted what is known as one of the first recorded controlled experiments in which he tested the effects of several different types of acids on sailors with scurvy. Sailors were divided into six groups and given the same diet, and then one group was given a quart of cider each day, another was given 25 drops of sulfuric acid, another was given six spoonfuls of vinegar, another half a pint of seawater, another was given two oranges and a lemon, and the last group was given spicy paste and barley water. The experiment quickly showed that those in the group with the oranges and lemons were mostly able to swiftly recover from the effects of scurvy. Following the experiment, Lind published a treatise of the scurvy, which almost no one read. But nine years later, Lind published Essay on the Most Effectual Means of Preserving the Health of Seamen. Within the next several centuries, and largely due to Lind's influential controlled experiment, scurvy and its treatments would become very well known. Today, scurvy is incredibly rare and is most commonly found in developing countries and among homeless populations, both of which face chronic malnourishment. Lind's experiment serves as a model for many experiments conducted today for identifying the causes of disease and their potential cures.